Sheboygan Falls Police body camera footage shows the arrest of now 28-year-old Caitlin Kinnitator and the discovery of the body of two-year-old Dexter in a closet smothered to death. A year and a half later, it's still hard for the officer who found him. He was located in the closet of his room um, in a box underneath two other boxes. He had an article of Kennetator admitted killing Dexter, but after two days of expert testimony, the judge ruled she's not responsible because of bipolar disorder and severe depression that left her unable to resist the urge to kill her son. There are very few cases that I would expect any of us feel the sense of loss as great as we feel in a case like we have here today. The DA says he understands the judge's decision, but says there's a somber lesson here because Kinnitator had stopped taking her mental health drugs because, quote, she thought she could handle it. People should not, if they have a mental health problem, ignore it. They should not try and self-medicate. If you know someone who has a mental health issue, encourage them, beseech them that they should get involved and see professionals. Kinnitator left court here still in custody. The judge still has to decide how long she'll be required to receive mental health treatment and whether that'll be outpatient or in a mental institution. In the Sheboygan County Courthouse, Nick Board WISN 12 News. Kinnitator did not take the stand. The hearing laying, laying out her treatment plan is scheduled for later this month.